U.S. and Canada are the last areas of the U of the of the world uh, that sell a manual golf. And uh, I think it's much more about enthusiasts coming together. You know, kind of like a Cars and Coffee. Um, you know, any of these enthusiast shows when you meet people that take pride in the fact that they drive a manual transmission car or that they've taught their kids how to. Um, it's just something that people heighten the enjoyment of their driving experience by using some skill they've invested time into learning. And there's all kinds of, you know, human potential out there that we just lose sometimes. And one of those is just taking yourself places. I'm a huge believer in just mobility. Being on a boat, you can go wherever you want. Really, more places in the world than, than with anything except an airplane. Um, getting on an airplane is an amazing freedom that comes from investing some time in your own skill and knowledge and then you uh, becoming proficient at something and then being able to do it and like expanding your life. So while that's a big story about a small event, Save the Manuals is really about people celebrating their love for the experience of driving. two things. One, get people behind the wheel of not just a manual transmission VW, but maybe a VW for the first time who might not otherwise really be familiar with the brand. Number two, teach more people to drive manual because I'm all about the manuals. Tanner's role in that is pretty organic, right? This is his home environment. This is where he feels natural right around a racetrack with fast cars that are really fun to drive. So Tanner kind of being here is like an organic addition to Volkswagen's are really fun to drive, Tanner's a really fun driver, so they kind of go hand in hand, and I can't think of uh, any better way to put it. So we're at the Save the Manuals event. These are the offerings from Volkswagen for saving manual transmission cars. In 1983, 35% of the cars sold were manual, in 2021, less than 1% were sold. So Volkswagen is doing this. We've got a bunch of influencers out here that are gonna drive, even learn to drive the manuals, but we've got the GLI Jetta. Uh, I think we have some straight up Jettas. We have GTI and Golf R's all are available in a six speed. We've got uh, the Oval out here, which is just a good place to learn, safe place to learn how to drive stick. And we've got an autocross course, which I think is death defying, but is, um, going to be a good place. So these guys are going to go from seeing a clutch pedal for the first time in their lives to racing against each other and the clock for prizes and fame. It's it's going to be a sketchy day. Oh, man. Well, for those of you who don't know, Barrett is the guy behind the camera. Pretty gruff dude. Look at that mustache. That's formidable. <laughs> that would literally take me days to grow. I you probably was... sneezed real hard and that just popped out I of your face. I thought it was perfect for this event. Clutch, 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 oh, clutch, shit. clutch, clutch. My bad. Yeah. And brakes. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, you're still in first gear. And light is green. Clean. No, go oh. ahead. Light's green. Too early on the clutch. So remember, faster, 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 we're going to speed in third gear. So pop it, let it go to home, and then straight up. Fighting point. Thanks. I feel like a dumbass, but that was fun. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah.
life skills that you know you'll, you'll take with you when you move here today. We also hope you just had a really good time. As they've gone through the data participants that scored on